Hey guys, welcome to another can review. Today we're checking out Precarious Beer Project's No Tag Bags IPA. So no tag bags. It looks like something from Saved by the Bell, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> like it's, it looks like the uh, logo to like it's the same font as the logo of Saved by the Bell. It really is. And I love the little squiggly lines in the squares because for some reason in the '90s, like every that was the the, the like decor. Just I don't know why we had you know your basic shapes as decor on things. No, no. That that was the '90s for you. That was crazy. It was like on the wallpaper on uh, Saved by the Bells. The <laughs> do you remember the um. What was it, the cafeteria or whatever that they were all at? Mm -hmm. They all hung yeah. out at the the Max. That's what it was, the Max. And they had this like these triangles, like yeah. with <laughs> outlines of squigglies. Anyway, so uh, this is a double IPA. Um, it is 7.5 percent Idaho Seven and Citra hops. This is from the Playground series. I don't know anything about the Playground series, but this one reads: uh, No tag backs. One of our favorites in the Playground. Double IPA series. No Tag Backs is a silky double IPA with notes of pineapple, creamsicle, and trop ooh, tropical fruit from two of our favorite hops. Brewed with an ample amount of oats and fermented with our house IPA yeast, intense, juicy, and surprisingly crushable. The fact that it's brewed with oats is going to mean that it is going to be one of those beers that has that um, cashmere quality. Oh yes. Yeah, that's smooth. You know what I'm talking about, that smooth Creamy sort of. To it. Yep. I guess no tag backs, that's like a rule in Yeah, it's like when, you when you're play. playing tag, I guess. Yeah. Something like that. Mm, I haven't played tag in like a more than, <laughs> more than that. Yeah, I was gonna say a decade, but like I'm old. So right off the bat, we're looking at wow. a very hazy beer. But it's dense. Yeah. I can't see it all through it. No. You know that Mexican juice you can buy at, uh, at the store? Like the imported Mexican juice? It looks like that when you pour it out. It's like it comes in a can or yeah, whatever. Yeah, like the nectar. It's yeah. like called nectar juice or whatever. Yeah, nectar like, juice. Like peach or mango. It looks like peach or looks like mango color. Got that slightly off-white, dense, one-finger head. Let's, uh, let's see what it smells like. <sighs> OK. Pineapple-y. Yeah. yeah, they're right. Just Tropical notes are on, are on the nose. Creamsicle and tropical fruit, too. Yeah, maybe some creamsicle, yeah, a little bit. I mean, just because it's so creamy smelling. Maybe it's in the taste. Okay, well, ready to dive in? Yep. Okay, cheers. cheers. It. It's um, just what I thought it would be. <laughs> It's, it's really creamy. It is really good, yeah. Uh, but it's, it's got this like dense mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing I noticed. I would call it a medium mouthfeel on this one. It's not super dense, but it's like definitely full body. Orangey, I'm getting a lot of orange notes, pineapple, creaminess. Being mostly just tropical notes. It's not like super creamy. It's just, it's just right. Yeah, it's very well balanced. Yeah, that's really good. What else does this say? I wonder what the um, Playground series, I wonder what else they're doing. I don't know, but those cans look awesome. They do look cool. Whoever's designing you guys' cans, man, like, these are really good. It hides the alcohol really well. This doesn't taste like a 7.5% beer to me. Idaho 7 and Citra are the hops. Yeah, that's a popular combination. When I think of hazy IPAs, this is what I think of. This is what I want every time. Yeah, this is um, this is a really good example of a haze bomb. This is, I feel like, oh, man, this brings me back, you know? Because I feel like this beer tastes like the first Vail beer I ever had. Like, actually, yeah. actually, no, not even the first Vail beer, like the first craft like hazy craft beer that I ever drank. It was like, I was wowed by it. I was like, wow, it's so juicy. Yeah. Like, how do they do that? And, that, and this is kind of, I don't know, it's just, just popped into my brain like, it's so fresh that it tastes like the first time I ever drank it. 
This is canned. When was this canned? I think it's like, this is super fresh. Oh, it doesn't say. No clever can tag, unfortunately, on this one. But he did give it to us straight up. He was like, here you are. So thank you. Thank you for that, Matt. That was awesome. Um, little can pack to take home, which was really cool of you. All right, guys, if you're interested in more craft beer reviews or beer event coverage, be sure to subscribe and click that little bell icon. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.